Hi, welcome to Ken's Games Collection and a pickups video for March 2021. So for March 2021, I actually picked up a good cross-section of games again, but there is some Master System stuff on the way, so I'm going to actually leave that for a separate video, and there's about five or six Master System games I, I picked up, so that's going to be coming soon, I hope. But let's get into what I picked up for the month of March 2021, starting off with a custom cover that I really wanted, and it was really funny because Nick from uh, Enigma Custom Cases posted something on, uh, I think it was Instagram, and I'm like, I want that. <laughs> it was just by luck that he posted the um, the, the uh, cover art to Quake 2, which is one of my favorite uh, first person shooters. And when I saw this, I'm like, man, I gotta have this just for that fact. So it looks really cool because it did get bundled in with Quake 4. And I talked about that in last month's pickups video, but uh, seeing this from Nick Enigma Custom Cases was really cool and was just, and it was meant to be, I guess you could say, to get that custom cover. So that one's really cool. Now, I saw this video on uh, Lightsaber Samurai's channel. His name's Anton, really cool channel, loving his content. And I saw this, this game that he was talking about. I'm like, man, that looks really cool. It kind of reminds me of Jet Set Radio in some ways. I haven't had a chance to play it yet, but it's called Skate City Heroes. Now, I don't know if you heard of this for the Wii. I never heard of it until I saw Anton's doing a video talking about this. And, and as soon as I saw that, I'm like, I've got to track it down. I found this for about 10 bucks, I think it was. So I'm really looking forward to giving it a, giving it a go. And it does, to me, it looks very similar to uh, Jet Set Radio, Jet Set Radio Future. So I can't wait to pop that into the Wii U backward compatible so I can actually give that a go. Now, I've got a couple of sealed games here, $10 each. Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures, and Indiana Jones 2, The Adventures Continue. Both of these are new and sealed, $10 each, which is really hard to find. Um, Xbox 360 games for this price. I did have these games back in the day on the PlayStation 3, but I got rid of those in the hope of getting them for the Xbox 360. That's going back probably about seven years ago I got rid of them, and seven years later, I got them here. These were great games. I love the Lego games, so can't wait to crack these open when my daughter's a little bit older because they are both uh, co-op games so we can sit down together and play them so that, that's going to be really cool now i did an unboxing for cyberpunk uh the the the, the collector's edition is really cool i played this game for about an hour and i'm so i'm not sure i'm not sure if i'm liking what i see in this game um i really will wait until i get a playstation 5 before I invest a lot of hours into it. That's my main goal was when I did get a PlayStation 5 that this would be meant for that console. So, you know, I did play probably an hour or so of it. And I, I still, I, I'm, 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 I'm really undecided about this game, which is really crazy to think because it was a game that I've been waiting for for years and years and years. Has it lived up to the hype for me? Not yet. I, I really need to invest a lot more hours into this game to see how I feel, but Right now, it's like, yeah, it can wait. So it's gonna to have to wait until I get a PS5, which I don't know when that's gonna be because the prices of, you know, the, the PlayStation 5s are still not available here in store. Pre-orders only, and that's the only way you're gonna be able to get one. Talking about PlayStation 5, my first PS5 game, can you believe that? Uh, $43 on Oz Game Shop, uh, Spirit of the North. Now I was gonna get this for, I think it was the Nintendo Switch or the PlayStation 4. But the prices were kind of like the same, and I'm thinking, okay, let's just get a PS5 game, $43. Uh, it looks really good. It's in enhanced for the, the PS5. I, I know that with the upscale graphics or whatever it is. So I, I can't wait to give this one a go. looks really good because it is an indie uh, developer, I guess. So that's going to be a cool game to play. So the final pickup for March is actually a Nintendo Switch game. I missed out on getting it on limited run. I totally forgot about it. And to my surprise, I saw it on PlayAsia. It's ready available there. So I'll link, leave a link down below to where you can actually go and get it. It is an affiliated link. So I just want to state that there because I am affiliated with uh, 
Play Asia. I've been affiliated with them for years and years, actually. But yeah, but I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in picking up Shante and the Seven Sirens, which I couldn't believe that this is, you know, really available on Play Asia. Came with some really cool things, but I started playing this game. And the Shante games play so well. It's just platforming, pure joy playing these games because you know how they're going to control. And this looks really cool. Uh, it was really bizarre because you get your Play, Stay, play Asia sticker. Um, this thing, which looks like it goes onto the back of your um, iPhone or something where, you, you know, it's like a, one of those holder things or whatever. I thought it was going to be a pin, but it's not. It's something that goes on the back of an iPhone. And also, I thought this was really cool. This is like a face mask um, holder, which I thought, man, we should have had that last year. But this is the first time I bought from PlayAsia probably in about two, maybe three years. I think it was 2018. Yeah, it was 2018 when I last time I bought some games from there. Um, so I bought two copies of this one for myself and one for Tim from Rage Like Gaming. He's actually got uh, two copies of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World uh, from Limited Run, one for me, one for him. So yeah, we just we, we may end up doing this sort of stuff every now and again for each other. But yeah, that's so cool to have a, a face mask holder. So that's pretty much it. That's my pickups for. March 2021 um, so great to have this honestly and also I think I got from I think it was from Korea I got the uh, River City Girls physical after it was all sold out or you know the pre-orders were all finished from Little Run so it's really cool to go on to play Asia every now and again to see what's there and um, even though this is the Hong Kong copy it is in English it's it's it's, it's not a, a knockoff or anything it is a great game and oh, so much fun playing the Shantae games. So that's pretty much it. That's my pickups for March 2021. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> this is what you want. Go faster. Run the faster, faster. Faster. Got it. That. I think that's got it.